A lot going on in Washington, D.C. President Joe Biden says his administration is working with foreign partners to get more Americans out and humanitarian aid in. And the U.S. House of Representatives could take up its Israel security bill as soon as today. Joining us this morning is KSLA News 12's Washington correspondent Ashanti Ford. Good morning. Good morning, Ashanti. How, Good the morning. House gets back to work under Speaker uh, Mike Johnson, starting with aid to Israel, which is facing a possible Biden veto. Correct. So the nonpartisan congressional office estimates that the GOP bill would add about $12.5 billion to the nation's already existing debt. That's over the next 10 years. Now, this suggests that sending $14 billion to Israel and cutting IRS funding in place of that will put us in the hole about $25 billion. That's a big number. In contrast, the $80 billion expansion the IRS was set to see would have actually cut down that debt by about $100 billion. So it's a no for Democrats in the Senate on that one. And they've already said the bill will not pass if it makes it to the Senate floor. The White House's press secretary also chimed in on this, calling the bill a non-starter. So long story short here, the overall message from the White House and several other members of the Senate is that they don't want to start slashing funding right here on our programs to aid our allies. It sets a dangerous precedent, so there's no doubt still much to be discussed here. Well, the House is dealing with some drama in House as well, voting to expel one of its members. What's the latest on that story? So Representative George Santos survived that vote to expel him from Congress yesterday, right? But he currently still faces 23 federal charges from the initial indictment. He did plead non-guilty to all of those charges, but the Ethics Committee will announce the next course of action. I believe that's November 17th, short two weeks away. We'll no doubt have more clarity on that after that. King, speaking of the former president, Donald Trump's two adult sons are in the Capitol taking the witness stand beginning today in a civil trial for the financial fraud case. That's correct. And we are no doubt over the course of the next few weeks going to hear several testimonies. Right now we are hearing from former President Donald Trump's kids. His son Trump Jr. was the first person to take the stand in this $250 million civil fraud case. Trump Jr., by the way, is still the executive vice president of the Trump organization. And one of the first questions they asked him when he took the stand right off the bat was if he was familiar with accounting standards and principles as to which he responded saying, I know nothing about that. I leave that to my accountant. So again, uh, we will hear several testimonies over the next couple weeks. I know that the next testimony that we are supposed to hear is a Donald Trump's other son, Eric Trump. So no doubt some interesting testimonies set to come out of that trial room. Washington correspondent Ashanti Ford, thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate it.